what's up y'all this is Steve with Mission Uber and I'm here with a quick thought about Uber driver rider relationships last night I went out and I picked up a rider and she and I started talking about this and I think it was a really good conversation her name is Elise check out this ride what we had to talk about and on the other side I'll talk a little bit more about what I think is important when it comes to driving Uber and picking up riders and helping them have a good experience with you. Check out the video. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, good. There's a gas station like on the way that we just got there. Yep. Yeah, I don't mind stopping at all. Do you ask other drivers and they're like, no, like I'm not gonna stop? I just started actually riding for um, middle Oh, okay. So you're like the second person I asked. Oh, okay. The first guy, he did, he let me. Okay, so okay. Just, do, do some of them say no or is it not in the... Well, a lot of drivers that I know, uh -huh. they get all bent out of shape over stuff. In one mile, <laughs> Like stop, making an extra stop. Yeah, I can understand for like Walmart or something, but yeah like to do your grocery shopping right but. yeah then, <laughs> so, then it's like okay <laughs> so yeah so i was doing this video tonight and uh could i use that for my youtube yes. channel our conversation yes you can <laughs> i can it'd be all right yeah you can all yeah. right there you go i got lisa in the car hey <laughs> <laughs> and we were just talking about making stops i'm gonna stop for her it's no big deal she'll probably be five minutes not even <laughs> not even relationships with your riders make them good be nice to them. Yeah. This is your second second ride? I'm sorry. This yeah, your... I used to drive for Uber and Lyft actually, but I just did oh. it for like five months, so I know. <laughs> oh, so you know all about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, so Elise here used to drive for Uber and Lyft. Hey, did you ever kick anybody out of your car? No. Okay. I never did. You wanted to though, right? I almost. I was like this close, but I didn't. Okay. Did you ever get into an argument with any of them? No, one driver did get really upset because I was, I guess he didn't like the way I was going on a GPS. Okay, sure. So, he got like really, he was intoxicated so. Okay. So he's getting annoyed. If you get annoyed back, it's just going to escalate. Yeah, it's just going to escalate. Right? Mm hmm So it's hard, but you just have to humble yourself. You say, you grab your steering wheel really tight like right. this. Yeah, you just got to, just got to hang in there because you're only, they're only going to be in your car for another Right. <laughs> Five, right. ten minutes. It's not like you're gonna, it's that one right up there. It's this not like you're going to be with them for the whole day. Right. You know, so you just got to hold your composure. Because there's a lot of videos online of people, like, get into fights and, and arguments it's and all that. It's not worth it. This one right here? Yep. Okay. All right. Two minutes, not even. Yeah, hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go. This is perfect timing. I got Elise who used to drive Uber and Lyft and she's a passenger right now. And we're talking about the dynamics, the relationship between riders and the driver. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. Also, when it, when it came to, you drive just Uber X? Yeah, Uber and Lyft. Four seat? Yeah. Did you ever have like people try to cram a bunch of people in your car? Yes, I did. Like, about, like probably like it was like five people. Okay. And they would not fit at all. So they would. They had to try. A little, they had to call on their own. Did you try though? Yeah, I tried. All right. Well, here you go. This is your tip. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Thank I you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get you again. Yeah. <laughs> Elise was really cool. And Elise, if you see this, thanks a lot for sharing your thoughts and, of course, letting me use this video. Here's the biggest point I want to make about all of this. All you have to do is just relax. They're only going to be in your car for a little while, and it'll be over. What you're going to have to try to do is put on your best poker face. You can deal with it. Because if you can't handle it, you probably shouldn't drive Uber. That's it. This is Steve from Mission Uber. Subscribe, hit the notification button, and most certainly comment below and tell me what you think. See ya!